Hi everyone, this is Ginger with My Sister Scrapper. Just want to share a quick little girls chipboard mini album that I made um, using the American Crafts City Park paper collection. Um, it measures 5 by 7 and um, it has um, hair bands for the binding. So here's the front cover. Um, I've got some chipboard letters that I had in my stash and the little girl's name is Chloe that I'm giving it to and I'm not sure if the mom is a scrapbooker so I tried to keep it simple um, as simple as I can for me anyway. I have a little Martha Stewart butterfly that I punched out of the paper and um, three little buttons and some ribbon and then this is a little punch that I used along the edge here and it's a little paper doily here and I ink the edges with um, the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. I think it's ch uh, blue china. So that's the front cover. Um, open it up the first cover, the first page. And I made a little, um, since it's 5 by 7 you can put like 4 by 6 photo on here. And I've got some little buttons that match right here. And I made, um, I punched um, with the Martha Stewart punch around all the corners, a little corner punch. And then I made this a pocket and it's on foam tape so there's lots of room here. So here's a little tag for a photo mat. And like I said, I kept it really simple because I don't know if the mom is a scrapbooker and I don't want her to get a little overwhelmed. So there's just plain little tags there. And then on this page, um, again, I got um, some little buttons here and I, I tied some twine in that I got from the twinery and just a little photo mat here. Real simple. And on this page, I have some uh, Prima flowers that I layered together. Um, put some little button brads in them and um, glimmer misted them with pearl. And I have some little Prima leaves here. No, those are recollection leaves. The flowers are Prima. And then um, here's a little photo mat that I ran through my cuddle bag, the stars uh, folder. And then I made a little pocket here with a tag. Again, just simple little tags. I might do some stamping on it later, but I haven't decided yet. Like I said, I don't want her to be overwhelmed. She's not a scrapbooker. And on this page, I've got a little pom-pom fringe that came with the collection. It's American Crafts and um, a Recollections Rose that I glimmer misted. A couple of buttons and some gingham uh, ribbon that I got at Michael's and a little strip of paper here from the collection. And on this page, um, I have some little elastic ruffle trim here and it's open in case she wants to slide something in there. You can. Um, and it's attached with a couple of button brads. Um, and then this is another one of those multi-pocket tag holders with lots of real estate for photos. So you can put a photo here and then I've got little tags. Um, they're all just plain inside. Photo here, photo here, and then you've got tags and tags. And it closes like this and then it opens this way. You put a photo here and then we've got tags and tags and another photo and then tag here. And then it flips back like this, and again, then it opens this way for photos and photos. So that just ties back closed like that. On this page, I have some really pretty brown lace that I'd gotten quite a while ago, um, and some flat back pearls, some more Prima flowers that I glimmer misted, and then I inked um, the edges with uh, Shabby Shutters Distress Ink. And this is some Bow Bunny. Uh, dot paper that I used for the photo mat here and then I made it a pocket as well and there's a little tag inside there. And this page. Um, this is just a plain photo mat but it's a uh, glitter paper from Die Cuts with a View. It's my favorite glitter paper because it doesn't come off. Love it. And um, some little flowers that I glimmer misted and I layered together. This little white one's a Prima one, and I'm not sure what these other little paper ones are. I think I got them in the dollar section at Michael's. And I attached them together with a uh, pearl brad. Love the little duck's paper. It's it's kind of embossed. Um, the paper already is with the little wings. You can feel the little wings if you rub across the paper. 
And then on the last page, um, I made a little pocket and I added some little ruffle gingham trim here to the edge. And um, here's the inside and I put a little bling here, flower with a little button in the middle. And then I had originally made these tags to go in here, but then I had all this ribbon right here. and So I changed my mind and made a little photo map. So you can put a little photo here and then it opens up like this and there's a spot here and here. So that just goes back in there. And then here's the back. Love this paper. It's got some glitter on it. It's just really cute and fun and springy and I'm ready for some sunshiny and springy colors. So there you have it. That's my little mini album. I hope she likes it. Um, we'll see. I'm giving it to her tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Bye.